My brother was diagnosed with myeloma, and then I was diagnosed in 2011, and I'm currently being treated. How can siblings both be diagnosed with a rare cancer and it not be hereditary? Should our children be concerned about this rare cancer in the future, and should they be tested? We tend to think of multiple myeloma as not being a so-called hereditary or familial condition. It is a disease that is relatively rare, but we do know that it does run sometimes in families. We've not developed concrete guidelines for screening of other family members, but most of us in the myeloma community feel that if there is more than one person within a close family that have multiple myeloma, it's very reasonable to at least consider testing those people in the rest of the family. Now, of course, if there are signs and symptoms that may be consistent with myeloma, a low hemoglobin, fatigue, bone pain, all those usual things that point us in the direction, then absolutely people should be tested. But we also have to remember that there are some implications of testing. It can affect things like insurance and other parts of our lives. And so that discussion should be had with the healthcare team. Lastly, I'll note that in the future, we hope to know a lot more about this as we've engaged in the large iStop MM trial in Iceland as we try to understand myeloma better and know in whom we should be testing, if not even screening.